It was during a downhill training at the World Champs in Val d'Isère. My ski hooked up in the snow and I split and then I felt something happen in my right knee and yeah, the crash looked quite brutal but for me it was okay. I didn't have that horrible experience. Jobba ner, 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 ner. But Jessica is still feeling the impact of her crash. She's got less than a year to go to get fit for next year's Winter Olympics. After having knee surgery, she's on a six-month rehabilitation program at this specialist sports centre in Stockholm, supported by the International Olympic Committee. They are professional athletes today. They conduct the professional work. They need a professional support, and, and that's what we are trying to provide. Professional support can mean anything from giving advice to athletes about nutrition and lifestyle to providing the latest research on sport medicine, biomechanics and physiology. But keeping sportsmen and women informed with up-to-date research comes at a price. And for the IOC's Medical Commission, that's where more resources are needed. I think it would be a, a major step forward if we could have some sort of research fund which we could make use of and support particular research projects where we identify that there is a lack of knowledge. But we don't have that means today. Increasing budgets for research would only be good news for top athletes like Jessica. When the margin between getting on the podium or not is so slim, any advantage is welcome.